43 days ago, Star Stable released these six horses. And over those six weeks, we have narrowed down our selection one by one. Now there's only one thing left to do. Two final contestants tonight are going head to head, tail to tail, hoof to hoof, to determine one final winner who will be joining the home stable today. Why don't I like that? Wow, me. That's right. Why is this not working for me? Tallied up our points for the first time and something absolutely crazy has happened. It is time to meet our challengers. Our first contestant is the Brindle American Quarter Horse available at Starshine Ranch for 950 Star Queens. Although, if you're watching this before the 1st of December 2021, this horse is currently 25% off for 713 Star Queens. This Quarter Horse is from the third generation and you must have reached level 5 to purchase it. The Quarter Horse has the stats 0 speed, 1 strength, 3 agility, 3 discipline and 1 endurance. Up against the quarter horse is the Faliba in Arabian, available at the Gold Spur Mill for also 950 Star Queens. This Arabian is from the third generation and you need to be level 7 to buy it. The statistics on this horse include 0 speed, 1 strength, 3 agility, 2 discipline and no endurance. One of the most important things about owning a horse is obviously their outfits. However, we don't always want to be sitting in our home stables for hours choosing outfits. Or maybe you like that, it's each to their own. But for the purpose of this competition, the horse which is the easiest to make an outfit for gets the point. That means the horse whose outfit takes the least amount of time takes the win. It is time for the first challenge. Now, obviously I can't actually uh, use these horses to make an outfit. So to do this, we have to try and find horses which kind of give off the same vibe. So I already know that I think I'm going to use that Mustang for the American Quarter Horse because I can't quite think of any other horses that I own that has that same effect that the American Quarter Horse has. Now, I'm going to be the first to admit, it's obviously not perfect. <laughs> Hang on, I have to pull up a picture on my phone screen to like, uh, compare them. Yeah, this definitely isn't the same red tone, which I feel like is definitely going to mess with making an outfit. So honestly, I might actually just use the Bay American Quarter Horse, because at least it's the same same tone of red. This really isn't the most ideal thing in the world. But now we have a flea bitten horse. But the thing that's different to normal flea bitten horses that I feel like we have in the game is this flea bitten one actually has like reddish brownish flea bitten spots. So I did get out this Connemara but I'm pretty sure it's like it's still gonna be different. But I'm not sure that I own the, any other flea bitten horses that I can think of right now which will give me the same vibe. And it's all about the vibe of the outfit, you know? Like, I did consider other horses, but I think I'm just gonna go with this. You know, it feels kind of right. Uh, like, I did kind of consider this Nabstropper, but the spots are a little bit bigger. You know what? No, we'll do the Nabstropper here, and then the Bay Quarter Horse. So, obviously, it's not gonna be perfect, but... It's gonna have to do so let's go uh, line up for our first uh, first challenge first contestant and i'm gonna try and have the same way of making the outfit to make it as fair as possible first thing that i kind of think of i'm not really gonna experiment too much i'm just gonna get it done so let's open up the stopwatch three two one go let's go okay i'm thinking let's just get a plain saddle on okay black saddle absolutely perfect let's see what kind of colors are we feeling uh, um what about this one maybe not that one okay honestly like i i hovered over 
this one for a second and I think I'm just gonna go for it. Let's get a bozel because I do like myself a good bozel. I don't think I have the correct bozel that I want out of my home stable though. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. This is so stressful. Maybe I should just use a halter. Maybe a halter is gonna be the best bet. It's not the best, it's, it's definitely not the best, but it's gonna do, okay. I wanna get some color. I don't know how to get color though. That's that. Oh my gosh, I meant to stop the stop up. There we go. Two minutes, 49 seconds. And I think that's an outfit. It's honestly not the best, but um, I did lose the hat that I wanted to wear. I have my Western hat and I genuinely cannot find it. Let me see if I can find it. Where is my Western hat? It's my black one and it's got the brown brim thing. Like this one here, what the heck is it doing over here? Oh my gosh, this is the hat that I wanted to use. Uh, honestly, I think I like the helmet better though. But here is outfit number one. This is the uh, contestant's outfit. Uh, now it is time for contestant number two. Nabstropper, please step forward. All right, oh, I'm not meant to have it open. Okay, are we ready? The timer's starting in three, two, one, let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm already freaking out. Okay, that's gonna have to do right there. I don't wanna go blue again, cause I just did blue, but I'm not gonna like let that affect my choices. Okay, that works right there. Should we do another bozel? Maybe not. I'm looking at bozels again though. Oh yeah. Let's just get a bridle that that i don't like that <laughs> why don't i like that why is this not working for me See, I want to stop now, but I feel like it's unfair. Oh, I haven't got a pet. Okay. Because I haven't changed the legs or the boots, so I feel like it's unfair because this horse was already wearing them. I mean, my outfit, but... You know what? I think I'm going to stop there. That's... It was fine. Honestly, I found that slightly easier. I think 2 minutes and 22 seconds on my timer. I might have a slightly different time in editing. That That's the outfit, I think. That is the outfit. And, um... Let me know in the comments below which outfit you think won, and um, I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm I'm fitting more with the with the nab stripper's outfit, but the time was all that really mattered. The time and I guess the outfit that made it look good as well. But I'm gonna give this one to the nab stripper. The nab stripper has the first point. Uh, I mean, technically it's the Arabian, but um, yeah. <laughs> I crave a need for speed and I don't know about you, but that's right, we have to test these horses for which one is faster. So I can finally win a championship, maybe. It's, uh, it's getting embarrassing, really. Best of three races. One racing, one cross country, and one jumping. Alright, need for speed, you guys. So for this one, it doesn't even matter about the color of the horse. So we are going to go ahead and get a level 15 Arabian. Let me see how well this is going to go. Level 15 quarter horse, there we go. And level 15 Arabian. There we go. And coincidentally, they kind of... Uh, look the same anyways now we have to make an outfit which is the same 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 so as long as both horses wear the same outfit it is totally fine so i think i'm gonna go ahead and wear this outfit here super quick super easy this horse doesn't have a bridle on let me quickly fix that for us shall we what is wrong with this chipmunk that is very oh my gosh all my chipmunks are broken there we go so without further ado, let's just uh, go head to head.
me. That's right, why should I buy the Arabian, the quarter horse? Based off of what Star Stable has promoted themselves, each wow factor of these horses gets one point. For our awesome Arabian, one point is awarded for their special move of walking on hind legs. One point for the show halter. And finally, one more point for a total of three for the lovely flowy tail characteristic of the breed which doesn't change with the style of the mane. For our western horse of our dreams, we have one point awarded for the space bar spin, half a point for the sliding stop and backing up because I personally felt that you can argue that the Arabian could have a cool stopping as well, but Star Stable just didn't mention it. And finally, two points because the quarter horse has two unique main styles. For our fourth and final challenge, let's take it to the audience. Earlier this week, I went out myself to the town of Silverglade and asked the people of Global Chat the very important question. Which horse breed? is better in your opinion oh that's not how you spell opinion the american cold water horse or the arabian that's arabian <laughs> there we go let's ask arabian american quarter horse arabian arabian american quarter horse american paint horse wasn't an option but hello <laughs> I have to keep a tally of these. Uh, Arabian, quarter horse. Arabian, Arabian, quarter horse. Arabian, Arabian. All right, I think it's clear. Global has decided the Arabian is the better of the two. Someone meant American quarter horse. It still doesn't change anything, but it was five to three. <laughs> 
Tallied up our points for the first time and something absolutely crazy has happened. They tied. It was five points to five points, but I was a little generous because for one of the things, I said that the quarter horse could get half a point for the special quote unquote backing up animation and also the sliding stop. But I think to make this fair, I need to give them a full point for them, even though they weren't special. But otherwise, we have a tie. What am I meant to be? What What am I meant to do with a tie? A death match? Maybe we need to do a death match. What is a better way than to handle this dispute with a good old? Game of rock, paper, scissors. Scissors, paper, rock? Hmm. Paper, rock, scissors? <laughs> so the first tab here, we have the American quarter horse. The second tab here, we have the Arabian. And on this tab here, we have a random number generator. Please ignore the radiant software. I can't get it to go away. It's super glitched out and I don't know how to get rid of it. So let's go ahead and generate our first number. It is scissors for the quarter horse. And a rock for the Arabian. The Arabian has one point. It is scissors again for the quarter horse. And scissors for the Arabian. Now this is the first one to three points, by the way. We have paper for the quarter horse. And scissors for the Arabian. The Arabian has two scores already. It is number rock. Number rock, yes indeed, for the quarter horse. And number paper for the Arabian. The Arabian just won three to zero. Oh my gosh. What a great way to end off today's horse versus horse. That is right, people. The Arabian has just won six points to five points just pulled through they were neck and neck there but the arabian's nose crossed the finish line first let's go ahead and buy the arabian shall we all right so i hope you guys did enjoy that little skit game show type thing it was super duper fun to film haven't edited it yet oh that was odd but i'm sure it's gonna be super duper fun to edit i cannot wait so definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see something like it again because oh my gosh that was so much fun so i'm not really sure what to name this horse i haven't looked up names or anything but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it in about five seconds and here we have the winning horse hello 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 welcome home look i love how the eyes match the coat oh my gosh i'm so excited for this life lady how fun is that okay let me google up some names really quickly all right i think i came up with a name it's a little bit of an odd name but it's called a cassava and apparently it is a nutty flavored starchy root vegetable or tuber native to south america so in the united states cassava is often called yuca and may also be referred to as a maniac or a brazilian arrowroot so i like the name cassava and i don't know why i mean it kind of reminds me of cassandra and i don't really like that part but it's kind of cool i mean we could name this horse yuca yuca is kind of cute okay we'll name this horse yuca and cassava this horse has three names and apparently it's also known as a brazilian arrowroot so i think we're gonna name this horse arrowroot if we can is arrow a first name has this already gone downhill i don't think arrow is a first name i swear arrow was a first name and it's not okay well i don't think yuca is going to be a name is it we have yule root is a second name so we just don't have arrow as a first name okay is arrow first a last name because like i swear arrow was in the game it's really not okay well i'm just going crazy so maybe we should just name this horse apple root it kind of sounds like arrow autumn root that's kind of cute we'll name this horse auto root 
Autumn Root, I mean, and we know this horse's name is actually Arirou in the game, aka Cas Cassava or Yuka. It's it's up to your own opinion. Welcome home! Yay! Okay, I freaked out. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Oh my gosh, my heart. <laughs> Welcome home, Yuka. I'm so excited to have you. You won fair and square, for sure. Let's go ahead and victory Rhea. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I Loki love the Arabian so much, which is kind of weird because like I was never really one to like the Arabians, but these new ones, man, they are amazing. Okay, Arrowroot is right here. Honestly, I'm not even gonna know what to call this horse. Yuka. <laughs> Oh, moment of truth, you guys. I want to find out if the outfit that I made on the Nabstropper is actually going to look good on Yuka. So let's find out. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of scared for this. I'm kind of scared for this. Okay, good. It's kind of hiding it from me for a second. Okay, let's get myself sorted out. I think that's an outfit. Oh, no, I think I was wearing these shoes here maybe okay let's step out let's step out oh my gosh we look fabulous oh my gosh yes i love it i love it actually i love how the bridle kind of matches the red of the uh of the spots oh my gosh this is beautiful oh my gosh i love this oh my gosh well, I think that I've done, you know, enough of serious editing for this video, so there's not going to be a montage for this video. But here is the new Arabian. You guys will see Yuka in training videos in the future, hopefully. But yeah, oh my gosh, this horse is so gorgeous. <gasps> Oh, I love it so much. Okay, well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, let me know in the comments, should I do something like this again? But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!